All right, so a lot of you guys were asking for a demo on how to do this uh, using Photopea. So this is the cropping assignment, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and do it using Photopea.com instead of Photoshop. So again, it works pretty much the same, uh, but some of you guys seem to still be getting stuck. So we'll go ahead and run through it here using Photopea. So the first thing I need to do is I need to download um, both these photos from the cropping assignment. So I'll go ahead and click and open them up. Uh, again, we are in, well, you guys already know this. We're in semester one, unit two, uh, cropping assignment. So we got this first photo here of Zebra Chad. I'm going to go ahead and download the image. Uh, really important that you click on the download image button. So click download image down here. Do not right click and try to download because if you do that, your image will not be the right size or it might not even upload into Photopea. So make sure you actually click on download image. Uh, mine's asking me where I want to save it. I'll go ahead and save it. And downloads is fine. So that's image 5189. And then I'm going to download this one too. Again, I'll click the download button. It'll save it. I've already saved these a bunch of times, it looks like. So I'll go ahead and save that one in downloads. So I got those both there. Um, and there's the name. The first one is called image 5189. Second one's uh, Safari Chad. So I'll go over to Photopea. And I want to go ahead and open up my first photo here. So I'll go ahead and open up image 5189. So go file the top, open. I'll go look in my downloads folder. I'll find that first photo we're looking at. I'll go ahead and hit open. Now for this assignment, uh, we just kind of nice photo of the safari here that was on, or the zebra here that was on campus, but um, there's a lot going on in this photo, right? We got people taking photos, a lot of distracting things going on. We're also kind of far away from the zebra. So I want to just crop it in and make it a little bit, look a little bit better. So if I go over here in my toolbar on the left hand side, um, here, it looks like it's the fourth one down is the crop tool. So that's the cropping tool. So I'll go ahead and select the cropping tool. And right now it's just kind of set to free crop. So I can just go in here and crop it however I wanted to, right? Uh, make a crop selection, then hit the check box here or hit my enter key and it'll crop in and then again control plus on my keyboard to blow it up so I could see it better um, so that's a nice crop but let's just say um, sorry control minus zooms back out again you can also hold down the alt key and scroll up or scroll down to zoom in and out Ooh, that's going pretty fast so let me there we go get it back to zero here now, this is nice um, but let's say that I was taking this photo and I wanted to print it to a specific size. So let me go ahead and undo my crop. So I'm going to hit control Z to undo it. So again, control Z is undo. You can also go up to edit and select undo from edit undo or step backwards uh, is control Z. Um, so I'm going to undo it and let's see here. If I look back at our assignment, uh, where is it? There's our assignment. So our assignment says uh, the first photo, I want to crop it to a five by seven aspect ratio. So let's say that I had a frame at home and I wanted to print this out and put it in my frame. My frame is a, a frame for a five by seven photo. So I want to go ahead and crop this so that it fits five by seven. So let me go back to Photopea. And again, I'm still on the crop tool. Along the top here is our options for the crop tool. And I'm going to go ahead and change it from free to a fixed ratio. So I'm going to go ahead and set it to a fixed ratio. And again, I said I want to crop it to a five by seven. So I'll go ahead and set it to five by seven. Ooh, all right. And now when I shrink this down, you can see no matter what I do do it, it stays in this fixed aspect ratio. All right. So that way I know that whatever I get is exactly five by seven. So I'll go ahead and move this down until I get it just right. Kind of getting from I want head to toe. I want to cut out the person over here in red, cut out these other people over here taking pictures. Cut out as much of this distracting background as I can. Just get real close on the two of them. And then again, once I have it the way that I like it, I go ahead and hit the enter key or the check box up here at the top. And that'll crop it down. Um, I bet you if I hit control zero, it'll blow it up. So it fills up the, scene, the screen for me. Or again, I can hit control plus and zoom in and out. But control zero should get to a nice size so I can see it pretty well. All right, so it looks pretty good. So that's my five by seven crop. All right, so now I need to go ahead and open up my other photo. So I'll go ahead and file open. And I'll open up. This one's called Safari Chad. Let's open that one up. So here they are in front of the Lincoln sign. But again, we got some like no parking back here. And 
this red box. And so some of that stuff we want to get rid of. Um, but once again, I do want you to crop it to a certain size. So let me look, see what my size was for the second one. Second one, we want it cropped to 11 by 14. So I will go ahead and set it to 11 by 14 here. Oop, all right. Now this is going to shrink it down here. This is cool, but it's kind of a, it's the same ways. It's very vertical. Now, if I wanted it to go the other way, um, I could, I think, no, this doesn't give me the, the option. All right. So um, I could rotate it right. 90 degrees, go 11 by 14 the other way, or I could just go up here and change my numbers. Right, so instead of 11 by 14, we'll go 14 by 11. That's still the same aspect ratio, just uh, just landscape instead of portrait. And I'll expand it out. So I do want to I want to get rid of this fire alarm here, but I still want to catch the home of the zebras in there. So maybe right about there looks pretty good. Get rid of this sign back here in the background. Um, Let's just try that. Let's try that. That looks pretty good. Check. Control zero. All right. Not looking bad. So home of the fighting zebras. And we got the zebra uh, and his handler there. So excellent. So I got my two photos. They are now cropped. So this one is cropped to 11 by 14. Um, and the first one is cropped to 5 by 7. All right. So now uh, to turn them in, I want you to turn them both in on one document. So we need to go ahead and create a new document. So I'm going to go up to file and say new. And we're going to go ahead and use the, the same size that we did for last class. So we're going to change it to inches. So make sure we're working in inches. You always want to work in inches for the most part in here. And um, see, we want a normal piece of paper. So eight and a half by 11 is a normal sheet of paper. And we want to make sure we set it to 300 dots per inch. So we have lots of resolution to work with. So eight and a half by 11, 300 dots per inch, but that's going to give us a, like a portrait uh, size piece of paper. I'll, if I'm, I'm going to go ahead and turn it the other way because I think it'll work a little bit better. So landscape. So I'm just going to hit this button right here that switches the two numbers for me. Um, or I could type them in separately, but 11 uh, by eight and a half instead. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. Uh, 11 inches by eight and a half inches, 300 dots per inch. White background is fine. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and hit create. All right, so now I got my blank canvas. Uh, now I need to bring these photos over into my blank canvas here um, so that I can label them and have them on one document. So there's two ways you can do this. Uh, the first way, which is pretty easy, is you just go over. I'm going to go ahead and switch to the move tool here, um, which is just the regular selection tool with the arrows around it. Uh, and I'm just going to go ahead and grab the background layer and click and drag it. So I'm clicking on it with my you know, with my left mouse button. So the normal mouse button, I click on it and I hold my button down and I drag it over to this tab here that says new project. And then I let go of it. And now here it is on the new project. Now you notice it's way bigger than my, my canvas here. So what I can do um, to shrink it down is again, make sure I'm on the move tool. Uh, make sure I have transformation controls checked. And then I'm going to move it around until I find a corner. Now I'm going to hold down the shift key on my keyboard so that my, so that my image doesn't distort. There we go. Shift key. And I'm just going to click and drag it down, get it smaller, move it back in the middle of the page so I can still see it. Click and drag it down. Keep getting it smaller. Oh, now here's interesting. I ended up with the full size image. It didn't bring over the cropped image. All right. So I don't want that. Let's see if I check it. Okay. That's weird. I don't know why I did that. So maybe if I go ahead and. Huh. All right. So I wasn't quite expecting that. Yeah. Okay. So I didn't take the crop over. So what I'm going to do instead, uh, I'm not sure why that doesn't work on here, but. What I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to go ahead and save it. So export it as a JPEG. Um, so format JPEG. 
quality save it and I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna give it a new name so this is uh, my 5x7 so I'll go ahead and save it as 5x7 in my downloads I'll hit save on that one and then this one here, we're going to go ahead and save it as 11 by 14. So we'll go ahead and export as JPEG and we'll click save and we'll save it as 11 by 14. All right. So instead of dragging it over, apparently that doesn't work. It doesn't keep the crop. So instead I'll just go ahead and go file, uh, open in place. And then I'll go find my five by seven and open it. All right. Again, if it's too big, you just find a corner with your move tool selected, right? And transformation controls turned on and drag it down until it fits. So I'm going to put him over here. So that's my five by seven. Happy with where he's at. I'll go ahead and click on the background. I'm going to go ahead and go file open in place and now place my 11 by 14 on here. All right, again, he's too big, so I'm going to go ahead and find a corner, hold down the shift key, drag him down until he's a size that I like. All right, and when I get him the right size, hit enter. And I'm going to drag him a little bit bigger. Again, holding down the shift key when, anytime I resize so that it keeps the proper aspect ratio. Again, anytime you hit, anytime you resize, you got to either hit the checkbox or hit enter. Um, and then it'll get you out of the resize tool. All right. So now I need to go ahead and add some text and label it. So I'm going to go ahead and choose my text tool down here at the bottom. Again, this can sometimes be really slow. I'm going to make it quite a bit bigger and let's see if I can get it to pop up here. So loading, loading, loading. Here we go. So the first one is, uh, this one here is the 11 by 14. So I'll put some text so that it says 11 by 14. Um, make it even bigger. Highlight it. Increase the size a bit. All right. Now I'll select the move tool and I'll move it where I want it. Right under the picture someplace. Should be fine. Maybe I want to move this picture down here. All right. Now on the other one, so I'm going to use the text tool again. Create another label. Uh, this one is 5 by 7. All right, and I'll get that centered underneath it. All right, so now that I have these labeled, and I have them where I want, uh, we want to go ahead and change the background color. Um, so you could put in a, a shape like we did before, a rectangle, and change the color of the rectangle, or we can mess around with the gradient tool some more. So again, the gradient tool is kind of down here in the middle, right? Looks like a looks like a gradient. All right, so I click on that and go up here and we'll change the gradient colors. Um, so we're green and blue. So why, why don't we have some green and blue in here? So I'm going to go ahead and click on the first color, um, click on this box here, and then I'll choose a custom color and I'll go ahead and grab the blue out of this shirt here and then hit OK. And then for the other end of the spectrum, uh, actually, how about we add a box here in the middle? Well, let me add a box here in the middle. No. All right, we'll just add a box here. It's fine. We'll change this one. We want it to be the yellow, so I'll try to grab this yellow right here out of his shirt. Should be good. There we go. Um, oh, there we go. And I just kind of clicked in the middle here and created another preset. Um, so let's actually make this middle preset the yellow. So getting kind of a tricky here. And then we'll make this other one a different color blue or... I don't know, maybe the red here from the brick or something. So we get a whole variety of colors. So we got a three way gradient going on here. All right, I'll hit OK. And then I'll go ahead, I'll make sure my background layer is selected. And then again, I can just click and drag out that gradient and get it in here. So whichever direction I want it, depending on how I drag it, how much I drag it, right, kind of changes the look of the gradient. So I'll drag it all the way out, kind of like that. find something I like. All right. So right there, we'll just say, I like that. All right. So now we got a nice background. We got these images. I uh, remember we can add some layer styles. So let's add some drop shadows to our pictures here. So I'll click on my picture. I'll go down to the effects button. Um, layer styles is what we call it in Photoshop. 
and we'll go ahead and add like a drop shadow or something like that to them. All right. Remember, we can adjust the angles on this, the distance. And we can really decide how we want to look, the spread, the size. There we go. All right. Just kind of helps set it off from the background. Um, I can even, I believe, if I want to down the shift key and drag it. No, there you hold down the control key and drag it. Control key. Okay. Control key doesn't make a copy. It is. So if I hold down the alt key, so if I open up my effects, like this little carrot here, this opens up my effects. I can hold down the alt key, click on the effects and drag it down to the next layer. And it just added that same effect onto the text. Now I'll add it onto the other text and I'll add it on to, oops. Uh, hold down the alt key again and again drag it down to the last image here and there we go i added it to the other image so now they all have a nice drop shadow on there looks really nice it's kind of popping out from the background uh, makes it really easy to read everything looks good as so that's perfect now you're done so now all you got to do to turn it in is you're going to go uh file and we'll go ahead and export this as a jpeg and click save and i'll just call this the cropping assignment And I will save it here. And then to submit it, um, when you go back to assignment on your guys' side, it's going to say submission or submit assignment right here, right? You click on that button, a uh, screen will pop up. Um, that looks a lot like this. Let me pull up the screen here on my computer. Let's see if I can find it. Um, uh -huh. So anyhow, this is, this is what the screen will look like on your side. It'll say upload, right? Create a resources. Before when we were doing uh, Google Doc assignments, we went to resources. But in this case, we just want to stay on upload. And then you want to click on this, this button here that looks like a bunch of papers. Right? It's next to the microphone. Uh, when you do that, um, it'll just pop up. Let me see. What can I do here? Uh, let me just go to like a new message here. So new message. So again, I can't do it because I'm not a student, but I got the same sort of button here. So if I click on the file button, right, it opens up my computer and then I can look and find my file where I saved it in my download, select it, hit open. And then for you guys, it'll say once it's done uploading, it'll say submit. All right. So again, that's how you do the cropping assignment. Hopefully that helps. And I will see you again soon.